Hi guys, I'm back again. So I'm going to do two videos today because I forgot to do one last weekend because I got really, really busy and distracted. The first one I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about like different homemade seasonings and stuff that I make. Like I make my own Cajun seasoning for Cajun pork chops and chicken and stuff. I have my own taco seasoning that I make that I've actually copied from Rachel Ray and it's really good and it's salt free. And then Cassie also asked me to talk about my double crunch honey garlic chicken recipe that I found on Pinterest and just modified a little bit. And this mixture makes so much that I actually freeze it and I have it left over for the next time I want to make the recipe. So it makes quite a bit. So when you can always have it on hand. So say you are running late trying to make dinner, get something, a quick, easy season and throw it on a George Foreman girl or throw it on the barbecue or whatever. Just quick, easy stuff to have on hand, I guess is what I'm trying to say. The first one, and I'm going to keep looking down because I have everything written down in my recipe book, which my best friend Janelle gave me this for my birthday a few years ago. Love this thing. It's been a lifesaver more than fun because it holds everything I could possibly need. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Cajun pork chop. My husband loves this seasoning. I don't remember how it came about, but I ended up writing it down one day, and this is his go-to thing that he always wants me to make, and I actually haven't made it in a while, but it's It's one tablespoon of paprika, which I use sweet paprika just because it gives it a little bit more different flavor than a regular, like, smoked paprika, and it's really, really good this way. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then half teaspoon each, cumin, salt, sage, garlic powder, and pepper. Mix it all together. I have I get these little Tupperware containers. You just shake it all up, and you can keep it in this in your pantry forever because it'll last for a long time. That's it. You just, when you want to cook it, you just coat the outside of it. I poke the meat with a fork to like tenderize it a little bit, and make sure to rub the seasoning into the meat and let it sit for about 20 minutes in the refrigerator, and then with some olive oil and a little bit of butter mixed together in a pan. You can grill it on the stove top or just run some butter on the George Foreman grill and grill it that way. That way it gives it that little extra crispiness when it coats or when it cooks. It comes out really good. Jim just loves when I make this. I should actually make it probably in a couple days. The next one I'm going to talk about is the taco seasoning. I love this taco seasoning better than the stuff you buy in the packets because it is salt free. When you like are making your meat or your chicken or whatever kind of taco things you want to make, you can control how much salt you put in it. I kind of make it a little bit on the spicy side because I love spice. My husband's Puerto Rican. Everybody I know loves spice. But basically, it's a tablespoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, and chili powder, and cumin, and then a quarter teaspoon or yeah, quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper. But I tend to use a little bit more than that, about half a teaspoon, just to give that extra flavor. Plus, when I boil my chicken, I usually boil the chicken first and then shred it to cook it in this. And I always add crushed red pepper to the water while it's cooking. But what you do is you cook your meat however you're going to make it. You brown your hamburger and drain the grease. I like to boil, like I said, I like to boil the chicken and then shred it and then you throw it in a pan. After you've like drained your freezer or anything, you put it back in the can, just like a taco seasoning packet. But because you have it in this, you can measure out two tablespoons of your own seasoning mix, and then use a quarter cup of water to mix in with the seasoning mix to get it to marinate. I guess is the word. It's just like if you were using a seasoning packet, it comes two tablespoons of seasoning, and you add the water. That's basically what you're doing, except you have your own instead of a pre-made pack. That's the easiest thing. I think ever. Last but not least is my double crunch honey garlic chicken. Like I said, it makes a lot of flour mixture. I made this recipe twice, once with chicken, once with pork chops, and look how much I still have. It's, it makes enough to last you for a while. If you have a bigger family, of course you're going to go through a lot quicker, but I only feed me and two other people. Me, my husband, and my best friend Christy. So, it's not like I'm cooking forever and ever. But all this basically is two cups of flour, four teaspoons of salt, four teaspoons of black pepper, 
three tablespoons of ground ginger, and this is a very powerful taste in this recipe, but it's so good. It, I'm telling you, you will love this recipe. Two tablespoons of ground nutmeg, two teaspoons of ground thyme, two teaspoons of ground sage, two tablespoons of paprika, which again, I use the sweet paprika, mainly because I have a bottle of it. It was a five dollar bottle of the sweet paprika, and I need to use it because the only reason I bought it was for a meatball recipe for a going away party I had in Las Vegas, and I just, I like the flavor a lot better. It really is really good. And you mix all that together, and it creates this flour mixture. And the double crunch part is when you have your meat or your, say you have the chicken, you make it really thin, or you buy thin pork chops, which I think it works best with pork chops, because you can buy them pre, pre sliced thinly for you, or you can use a meat mallet and flatten out a piece of chicken because it needs to be about a quarter inch thick, if not thinner. And you dip it into the flour mixture, and then you dip it into the egg mix, egg and water like mixed together, and then dip it back into the flour mixture, and then you fry it in some oil for about five to seven minutes until it's cooked thoroughly, and that's where the crisp, the double crunch comes from, it's because it's double breaded. With this recipe, it's a garlic honey soy sauce reduction. It makes the recipe fully come together. It is, where is it at? Two tablespoons of olive oil, three to four cloves of minced garlic, which I buy the jar at Walmart as a pre-minced garlic just because that's easier for me instead of trying to mince, find the head of garlic and trying to mince it every time I need it in a recipe. I just buy the pre-minced stuff that's in the jar with a little bit of, the, little bit of liquid that comes off of it. Anyways, three to four cloves of minced garlic, and then you brown that. Don't cook it till it burns, just enough to where you start smelling the garlic really good in your kitchen. And then you're going to use one cup of honey, a quarter cup of soy sauce, and a teaspoon of ground black pepper. You mix it all together, but you have to watch it carefully because it will bubble over like that. The first time I made this recipe, I ruined my stove in the apartment in Las Vegas because that honey is hard to clean off once it boils over. I will try and record this recipe. I don't know when, because it's kind of an intricate recipe. It's not something I can really make in advance like I usually do. With my videos, I'll record something that I can make in advance really easy. Um, I'll see if I can't do it maybe coming up in the next couple weeks. I'm going to try and pull up the video every Saturday. In addition to this video that I'm posting right now, I'm also going to be recording a zucchini bread video and my classic meatloaf recipe, which that will be going up next as soon as I charge the batteries to my camera because they did that. I hope you enjoyed this. Anything else you'd like to see, leave it in the comments. And I hope to see more of you guys subscribing and that this is the kind of stuff you want to see. Bye.